In this series of lessons, we will be talking about how to create store and forward queues. The role of the store and forward queue is to be able to allow the publisher and the consumer to not be running at the same time, but yet allow them to exchange messages. Okay, so first you have the publisher, right, which will send messages to a well-defined queue. The one characteristic about the store and forward queue is that the publisher and the consumer does not need to be running at the same time. So once the publisher publishes a message to the queue, it can then uh, disappear. At a later time, the consumer can uh, come up and connect to the queue and dequeue those messages. Right, and after it dequeues those messages, um, those messages will then get removed from the queue that is inside RabbitMQ. The reason why it's called a store and forward queue is basically that the messages will be stored in RabbitMQ until it can be forwarded to a consumer. So in these series of lessons, we will show you how to create store and forward queues in RabbitMQ.